I'm about to do a really strange thing and go off for the weekend by myself. Well, me and this little fella right here because we're attached right now, you know. Um, but I usually don't go off by myself. Actually, I really love time by myself, but, um, and I usually get really excited about time by myself. And it's gonna be a good time because I'm going to spend some time with some girlfriends. But, I'm actually really anxious about it this time for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I'm going to take you guys along with me and talk to you. So I have someone to talk to. <laughs> this is getting real sad <laughs> real fast. <laughs> Someone's got the hiccups. Someone's got the hiccups. Hey, precious. Hey. Uh, so I had to stop and feed the baby and grab some supper. And it's taken a really long time for a pizza. But it's going to be worth the wait because one thing that I do enjoy about being on the road by myself is that I eat whatever I want to eat. <laughs> I don't worry about it. I eat whatever I want to eat. I'll probably feel like crap afterwards, but I do just enjoy my freedom in that a little bit. <laughs> so, we have been waiting a while for our pizza. See the lovely Pizza Hut behind us? Uh, we've been waiting a while, but it's okay. We will make it up the mountain eventually and probably the next time I talk to you will be tomorrow so hope you have a good night see you in the morning I wish I could express to you how beautiful it is, but this will have to do. funny because the only um, thing that I put in the cooler to bring with me was our milk <laughs> um, store-bought creamer just doesn't cut it anymore so this is the cream I needed for my coffee and um, so I'm glad I brought some I have nursed the baby on the porch at home many times but it has never been this cool and this pleasant outside at home since I've done that so it's so nice up here so nice Ugh, I could just stay here for a while so I'm out here nursing the baby and uh, it's so peaceful it's so beautiful and cool and Literally all you can hear are birds um, and the occasional honeybee and hummingbird. It is so nice. <laughs> this is my dad's house in the mountains that we are so thankful to get to use. Um, he built this 20 some years ago and We've been using it faithfully ever since. Anytime we needed a retreat or anytime we came up to visit friends, it's nice. It's such a nice little retreat. I, uh, you might remember last year about this time when things at the farm got to be a little too much and I needed a break. Uh, Adam so graciously said, 
go to the mountains it's fine um, I'll handle things here and uh, so yeah it was nice I brought the kids with me that time I wasn't lonely um, but we didn't sleep very good last night as you might can tell from my voice and the bags under my eyes probably um, we didn't sleep very good but that's okay I knew that was gonna happen really because like I told you I eat whatever I want to which is usually a really bad idea and it was a bad idea I had pizza and I actually had a soda I never drink soda and I feel like junk today honestly I feel really yucky so I'm gonna have to recover from this <laughs> but this is a great place to recover <laughs> I mentioned that we come here to retreat sometimes and um, I just I feel like I think so much clearer when I'm just not at home I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that but there's just so much to do there's so many tasks and so I was really looking forward just to having this time just to think just to plan and think and um, usually that's what I do when I when I come here or even when I when I go to the beach um, I actually feel like I, I meet God when I go to the beach and I know that's that might be kind of silly because God is everywhere but you've probably seen my post before where I've, I've talked about that I just feel so much closer and so much more clarity in communicating with God when I'm at the beach um, but I do feel the same way here um, when I'm here I'm like wow it's so still it's so quiet it's such a good time to reflect, a good place to, um, to listen. What do you guys think? Do you, uh, do you prefer the beach or the mountains? I know some people feel very strongly one way or the other. Leave it in the comments so I can read those and see um, if you're a beach person or a mountains person. But I think I'm equally both. Um, and I have some kids who agree with me that it's just it's so nice to get away to both places and um, my husband is definitely a mountains person he is not a beach fan in the least so um, so we don't even have to guess about that we know what he is hey you talking you talking hey Hello. You're so handsome. Yes, you are. You're so handsome. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, pumpkin. Hey, pumpkin. Yo, I'm having a problem. This kid is two months old and he flings his passy like across the room all the time. And I should have known better. I went to go do my makeup and my hair and left him with his passy in his mouth. And I came back in, it is nowhere to be found. Like, what do you do about this? <laughs> I guess I should put a clip on him. Like, I have a clip. I just haven't used it yet. And now I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? Because I only brought one passy. Sawyer, why are you doing this to mama? Why are you doing this to oh. mama? You think it's funny. You think it's so funny to hide your passy from mommy. But we need our passy. We need it. We need it. I have looked everywhere. I've looked under the couches. Like, how could this kid fling his passy 
somewhere and it's hidden like and it's a big passy it's like not even a little passy it's like humongous but it's rubber and so when it hits the floor it bounces oh i got a problem sawyer we have got a problem sawyer all right i'll put you down so that i can look for a passy found it <laughs> now i can continue with my day so we had an amazing weekend i'm so glad i got this time with sawyer by myself um and we just got to hang out and have fun together and i know he's two months old but i just enjoy him so much and um i got to see some friends that are so dear to me um and i just got to worship the lord and that was that was by far the best takeaway from this weekend was i just got to worship the lord i, I worshiped him worshiped him alone i worshiped him with sawyer i worshiped him with my friends and um i'm going home just so filled up and uh, i just want to encourage you that if you are anxious which a lot of us are right now if you have gotten to the point in your life where um you know social media has has just really bogged you down or um if you're like me you have people that are very close to you in your life um who who are just naturally anxious people and and they tend to whether they mean to or not tend to incite fear in you um then get away with the lord um you don't have to go to the mountains you can go in the closet you can go in your laundry room your bathroom and um tell your kids that mommy needs a minute <laughs> daddy needs a minute just spend time with him talk to him he's going to give you peace he's going to give you rest and he's going to fill you up um because he doesn't want us downtrodden he doesn't want us anxious fearful um he wants us to live expectantly and to live joy-filled lives um hope-filled lives and so that's all i have to say about that i'm going home i can't wait to see my kids and adam and um get back to work so thanks for coming along with me this weekend i know i didn't show you a whole lot um but it was just really a great private time um, for me to be by myself um, and with the Lord and um, with some good friends. So I hope you guys have a good week and um, I'll talk to you next time.